Welcome back to ChiefTutor.com. In this video we'll be discussing how to best make an island for either your kitchen cabinets or just island cabinets floating out in the middle of nowhere. They're always fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the base cabinet tool and I'm going to throw together some cabinets. Say about four of them. Looks good. And I'm going to take my camera view and I'm just going to look at it. And you'll notice that it removes the toe kick on both the front and the back so it's assuming you don't want it up against a wall so you must be designing an island. Okay, so I'm going to also take the cabinets and I'm going to click some on the back side. Also notice that Chief Architect was smart enough to realize to reverse these. This is the arrows and it shows you which way the cabinets are facing. So I got some in front and some in the rear. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a two-level island. So what I want to do is I want to reduce this down to about 12 inches. And I could probably do this all at once, but knowing me, I'm slow, so I'm going to do one at a time there. But now, let's do it all at once. I'm going to select the first one, left mouse button, click it one time, hold down the shift on the keyboard, and select the other ones I want in the run. Click open, and change them all to 42 inches in height. And then, now that the cabinet is 42 inches high and the others are 36, on the back side here, you don't really need a drawer on the top. Or at least I don't want to design one, so I'm going to remove it. Click OK. I'm going to back out of the plan, and let's take a look at what happened. I just changed the heights. Now, you notice the little thing going on here. That's because those cabinets were not straight. And you can tell because Cheap gives you those lines. So what I'd like to do is let's just try to figure out what it was that Chief didn't like. But that one up against there, that one up against there, it looks like I got it. And there we go. There's my island. I'll also come over to the side and I'll notice my toe kick is flushed down. What if I'd like it recessed like the others? No problem. Double click it and click flat sides and it automatically reduces the toe kick on the sides that are open, thereby allowing the island to just wrap around. Click flat sides. We're good. Now I'm going to do it to these two, and I'm going to try to do it all at the same time. I'm going to select this one, hold down shift, keyboard, select that corner one, open it up, flat sides, bam, there we go. Look at that beauty. Very nice. Also notice on the back side there that I have doors facing the wrong way. So let's go ahead and correct those. I'm going to go to the elevation tool and run it across my cabinets just so I can see them. Select this, select the door, make that a left. Double click the same here, hit the door, demand it to be left. There, that looks a little bit more accurate. And there is a simple island I just designed. And again, let's um, go ahead and just delete cabinets we don't need and we can view this bad boy in all its glory look at that pretty nice now let's change some things on the front for instance I want to make this a sink cabinet with double doors and I'm gonna make this one just a full height this one I want to make it a set of drawers select the door tell it to be a drawer say add new drawer I get six inches. Click OK. Force that one that's highlighted to be six inches and it adjusts perfectly. And this last one, hmm, what should we do with this last one? Well, why don't we see if we can do something unique? Why don't we turn this one? Do, 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 do. We'll click on doors, specialty seems nice and how about a basket yeah basket seems good so we will specify shelves at zero and click OK and there it put in a basket for me oh notice my handle on it we don't want that so the hardware on the door is none so we don't really need that okay that is a nice special island. Simple, clean, and easy. And the only thing left to do now is I wanted to put a sink in this. So I'm going to go to Fixtures Interior. I'm going to scroll down here to Plumbing. 
and let's go into sinks. Uh, bar sinks seems obvious with fixtures. Sounds good. Kind of scroll through. Ooh, that's the one I like. Click it in and bada boom. There we go. There is my kitchen island. Looks a little funny, so I'm just going to refresh the screen in hopes that it'll fix it. And it didn't fix this back edge, but we will on the next version when we discuss the countertops. But that's been making a kitchen island using Chief Architect X1 only here at ChiefTutor.com.